The disease is referred to as pigeon fever, most common in the southwestern part of the United States and now making its way north to the treasure state has sparked some attention from not only horse owners themselves, but also to some veterinarians in the area who have said this is a rare occurrence for the state of Montana. A dry start to autumn season, quickly transitioning to sub-freezing temperatures, is just one example of how quickly things can change in Montana. There's also unexpected events we wish that we didn't have to run into. For third-generation farmer Jody Jackson, she noticed something was wrong with one of her horses. But she had a huge lump right there, which you can't really see anything now. But it was, it was a big lump. Uh, it's been probably a month or six weeks ago, um, I had a mare that didn't come up to feed for morning chores, so I investigated why she didn't come up. That was when she noticed a football-sized lump in one of her horses, eventually spreading to her other two. The swelling is the most common side effect of what is called pigeon fever. I couldn't believe it. I thought, we don't get pigeon fever here. That's a, a disease of the South. Noted to be most prevalent in states such as Texas, New Mexico, and even parts of California, this infection is known to cause large abscessing in either the chest or the abdominal area, taking the shape of a pigeon's breast, hence the name pigeon fever. When I saw the, oh, the copious amounts of pus that came out of that mare, I, it's, I don't even want to tell you how gross it was. Um, and then she drained for several days afterwards. Um, since that point, I've had two others with the same issue, and it's just hard to imagine that a horse can build up that much and be so sick. Um, you know, fortunately, all of mine have survived, but I'd, I've heard of others that haven't. See here, this gray mare was the first one, and you can see where she had the drain in her chest. Really? This is caused by bacteria, which is said to thrive in dry soil, especially in drought-like conditions. It is commonly She's spread by flies and contact amongst other horses. But for owners like Jody, she's not the only one noticing a trend. So at our clinic, we've seen about 60 cases and diagnose them as pigeon fever. Um, we've also had multiple people call with signs of it, but we had not seen the horses. Um, so we've seen lots of cases, um, and I'm sure there's more that we haven't seen. Um, we've seen the typical, you know, pigeon breast abscesses. We've seen abscesses all over the body. And the two cases that we saw um, did not make it, so they were pretty severe. Julia added that there's a solid chance Montana has dealt with this before, but it's been well over 40 years since their practice has seen pigeon fever. Dr. Nydam has experienced this disease in several states. Yet well, this yeah, is the first year because, he has uh, seen it in Montana. You, you see that and you know what's coming and, and it, it did turn out similar, but uh, I don't think we had quite as bad a outbreak as it could have. Um, it started a little later in the, the summer than sometimes it can. There's two types of pigeon fever. There's internal and external. Both veterinarians say the most common one they've seen is external, which requires draining the swelling from the horse. On the other hand, there's internal. We can end up with internal abscesses, and those um, can have a much less positive outcome, I guess. <laughs> Noted to be about 10% of cases, internal abscesses can be associated with their kidneys or their liver. At times, it can lead to a fatal ending. But despite the dramatic increase the past month, veterinarians say due to the much cooler weather approaching, they are expected to see numbers start trickling down. When speaking with veterinarians in the area, they said that this is not something to be too concerned with. They said the most efficient ways to prevent pigeon fever is keeping stalls clean, as well as exercising good fly control. Using fly sheets, spray, or ointments is essential. Regular manure management and sanitation is also encouraged to control insect populations. If your horse has any symptoms, they should be isolated from other animals, and a veterinarian should be consulted. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News.